Hi. I'm home at last. Look, look, you can see my room. My look, that's my that's my dress dummy that I got. That's not my all my stuff. Most of my stuff is still in the trunk. I'm going to get it out of the trunk tomorrow because I'm exhausted. I just got home. It's like 11.09 right now. And I just got home from moving and packing all day. And it hurts. But yeah. But it is Saturday. Therefore, my day to upload. And from what I remember, A and Peggy, neither of them, neither of them put up videos. For Bear, and it's Bear's Week, and I'm so sad that no one did their videos for Bear yet. Because they are going to do their videos. They're going to do them. Therefore, I say yet. But I was determined that even though I'm so tired and I have, like, no internet connection right now because my Wi-Fi isn't working, I'm determined that Bear will get at least... One person. It's like, little something about them. I can't speak properly right now, so I'll just look over the notes that I have, like, over there on my computer. Three words, well, they're not really three words that describe her, but three things that describe Bear are... <clears throat> she's prickly. She's cute. And she's a strong-minded individual. She's so cute. I find her absolutely adorable. She's just so cute. Like, people tell me I have a weird... People, main, like, mainly, like, Bear, tell me that I have a weird sense of what's cute or not. But I think she's absolutely adorable. And that, like... <laughs> kind of, like, like, all, you know, like, prickly on the outside, but, like, on the inside really being, like, yeah. I can see past that. Or I'd like to think I can see past that. Maybe I'm just, like, really delusional. But she's very prickly. Like, she's just, like, ah. But underneath all that prickly outside, she's a very, very sweet person on the inside. Uh, she loves her friends, like, she is the kind that forms, it's like quali quantity, quality over quantity. Like, they're very, very strong. Strong bonds. So, quality over quantity. Yes. Um, Like, she's very, very loyal to her friends. She's very, she will stand up for them, defend them. She's a very good friend. Um... She's a strong-minded individual. She definitely has her own opinions, and she's not afraid to say, to say them, and to stick up for them. It's very refreshing to hear because I'm I'm like one of those people who are just like, mm. who like will have their own opinions, but they won't really say them out loud. She's a very very girly, very girly person. There's a difference between cute and girly. Um, people call me cute, but I'm, I'm like, I'm like a man. I'm not girly at all. I'm not like cute, cute or anything like that. Like, my face is like, but my personality is, uh. Bear is very beautiful. She's also very girly on the inside. Like, she loves dressing up, dresses and things like that. I'd rather have a pair of pants, but. She's, she's just super cute, super girly. She's very, very sweet to the right people. <laughs> um, and most people, most people find that surprising that she's very cute and girly and stuff. She's super dependable. I can depend on her a lot. She's not very decisive. I'll be asking her or she'll be asking me. Um, and she'll be like, I don't know. You decide. And I'd be like, 
No, I can't just. I can't decide what it, you just. Neither of us are very decisive people, and I'm just babbling at this point. So I'll go on to the next thing. I can't actually remember when I first met her. She's always been like there, there in the background. Um, cause in high school we had this thing where we met up in the mornings in the corner of the library. Like so, so I know I know Jen's always been there, there, but she's she wasn't like a very big presence to me until until actually my memory of this is very vague but um so I'm not quite sure how it happened but I was in the library corner one morning and I had a habit of like lending people books and stuff and I never really borrowed them in return because I didn't really have much I wanted to borrow um so I just lend, loaned a, peop, a lot of people like a lot of my books, like a lot of my manga books. So like I was like, oh, whatever, right? Bear calls me over and I was like, what? Because Bear was just like really big, tall, imposing, intimidating figure. And I was just like this tiny little sophomore, this tiny little person. I think I was a freshman. I was a freshman or a sophomore. I might have been a might have been a freshman. But I was just this tiny little person who was like this this big big person up looking up at them, and so she calls me over and she pulls out a list of books and says, "Here, choose some." I'm like, "What? Choose some books." I'm like, "What?" It turns out that that list was um. A list of the books that Jen owned. Whatever. I'm sorry. That she owned. So. And so I I don't think I remembered picking any out. I just. Oh, do you have any that you recommend to me or something like that? Um, in the end, she came back the next day. And next day or like next week or something. With. Legend of Chunyang. It was a clomp, clomp, clomp. I am so tired. Clamp manga, manga. Oh my god, no. It was a clamp manga, and she gave me the first volume, first two volumes of Aria. So she gave me the prequel. She gave me Aqua. That's what got me into Aqua. You know, it's it's really thanks to Jan that I got into um, into Arya, and therefore cosplay, because Arya is the first manga that I ever cosplayed from. Thank you, Bear. Isn't it funny how things come around in a full circle? Anyways, so that's the first instant that Bear really stood out to me as an individual. I don't know, like... I'm so sad because like she's so sweet when you first when you like after you get to know her but like to other people she's just like this intimidating tall strong-minded individual woman and like people don't really like get to know her as much as I'd like them to sad face it's just really sad because bears such 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 a nice per well such a very, very sweet person. Such a really, really good friend. Um, she's one of the best friends I've had. And one of the... Yes, yeah, just... I don't know where I would be without her. Um, it's a really, really special memory I have with, with there. With, um... Okay, um, it's really a special memory I have with Bear with, I think there was a time in my junior year where I was really, like, super down about a lot of things, like, it was just a big combination of, of, like, life, of art, and, like, you know, it was, it was, like, a really, really stressful time. Um, and I was like, like, I, like, I, like, complete breakdown mode. And I was like telling, talking, talking to Bear about like, 
how stressed I was. Well, I wasn't really talking. I was more like, I mean, like, bl like blurting it out in like panic mode, and like I was like getting really, really, really worked up. And Bear just like sits me down, and she she sits me down, and she's just like, um, <laughs> she just talks to me, um, and she says exactly, exactly the right thing that I needed to hear at that moment, and, um, she just, uh, made everything all better for me just by, like, talking and saying exactly the right thing, and it just, I don't know why I'm crying right now, but I'm just really tired, and, like, arm disappears and sleeve, but, um, <laughs> Yeah, it was a very, very big turning point in my life. Uh, I, I, I was crying back then as well. With um, it was in my garage. I think I had. It was around the end of junior year. I was in my garage. Peggy, Peggy was there too, just kind of standing off to the side, going like, "Uh, oh, uh, what? What's happening? I don't what." I don't get it, okay, <laughs> um, but that's just one of the very, very special memories I have with Bear. I'm not, I, th I think, I think she still remembers it, maybe, it may have uh, been a very big deal to her, but it was a very, very big deal to, to me, and yeah. Mm. I, yeah, just... <sighs> Even though we're all, like, separated now, like, we still get together from time to time and talk. We have, like, nine-hour Skype sessions. And yeah, we have nine-hour Skype. Well, well, one time. One time we had a nine-hour Skype session, but it wasn't really nine hours of talking. It was, like, two hours, two, three hours of talking, and then, like, the rest of it was, like, silence. And not even, like, silence... We were, like, both on either side of the computer, but silence as in, like, she had to leave the room at some point, I had to leave the room at some point, blah, 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 blah. And the Skype window just went on for, like, nine hours. <laughs> She's the only one I ever do this kind of thing with, like, I don't know. It's just nice being close with someone this close, friendship close, very, I'm tired, if <laughs> you can not tell, I'm tired and emotionally, like, I mean, from reliving junior year of high school memories, it's not work, this isn't working, I don't really know what else to say, except this is really, really long, so I'm probably gonna have to edit it, therefore Bear probably isn't gonna get her video tonight, oh no, Oh no. 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 I will try to get to this video to you as soon as possible. Probably tomorrow because I'm going to the spa tomorrow with my family and I'll have a computer. Therefore, we'll edit. Yes. Good. That's the plan. But I love you, Bear, a lot. I really love you. Sorry for for the emotion, you, all the feels, all the feelings are in the middle of this video. I do, I do apologize. I think I'm just really tired. So A, A and Peggy, you guys will do your videos. Next week, when Bear and I do A's video, Peggy will be doing Bear's and A's. In fact, you know what? Just upload, just upload two videos, two videos at once, record two videos at once, just put them up. Just do that. Also, A, you're missing Bear's, you're missing Peggy's. I'm watching you. But yes, so, 
I will see you next week, next Saturday. Goodbye, everyone. I'll see you soon.